So hi, I'm at my parents' house this weekend in the country. I've decided to get away from the city so it can look like I'm actually doing some homework away from the distractions of uni. Um, while I'm here, I have discovered that I'm actually an excellent expert procrastinator. Um, I like to call it procrastination domination. Copyright. Um, so anyway, here's a couple of my tips on how you can be an excellent procrastinator too. <clears throat> Lucy's top 10 procrastination tips. Number one, go visit your parents. They won't see it as a procrastination tool, they'll just think you love them. Bonus. Number two, stock up your cupboards and or your fridge. The more food you have, the more time you can stand staring blankly into the, at the fridge or the cupboard, deciding what to eat. I believe this is called procrastin eating. <laughs> Number three, start a new video game. Diablo 3 came out in the last couple of weeks. And you can spend hours, weeks, months even, killing those weird skeleton thingies with miscellaneous weapons. Number four, arrange all the books you own in order. Some people do this by height or by author. Those people are amateurs. I recommend doing it by date published. This can waste up to four to five days, depending on how many books you have, of course. Number five. Write back to every Christmas card you got last year with a happy nearly six months since you gave me your Christmas card card. These go down a treat. People will think you actually care about their friendship. Number six, find pairs for all your socks. You'll be grateful for this later. Baby. Unless you're one of those people who just wear thongs all the time. Number seven, use all the products in the bathroom. Your housemate won't at all be angry when they when you've used the last of their super expensive Pantene Pro-V hair treatment. Especially when they see how much volume and bounce your hair now has. Eight. Vacuum. Nine. Do some detailed Wikipedia research about every MasterChef contestant ever. This might come in handy for the uni trivia night coming up. It probably won't, but it might. Number ten. My favourite. Type into Google Translate your essay question and then have fun trying to pronounce your essay question in like five different languages. Spanish, German, French, Israeli, American. People at parties are always impressed with the ability to say something in another language. So I hope you've found time to do all of these procrastination techniques as well as doing your exam preparation or your essay writing. If not, well, who cares? Your hair will be voluminous, your house will look like someone with OCD had a crack at it, and you'll be able to say discuss performance elements in like three new languages. Procrastination's pretty awesome.